Right, application launchers. Where should we begin? So recently I tried out GnomePy on the channel and it's alright, it's not terrible. But recently I have seen a better application launcher that is much more suitable for my purposes and that is Xmenu, which is an X11 menu utility. I had some trouble finding the actual repository by doing a uh, search for it. However, I found out about it not through a search but actually through a YouTube channel called DigitalTube, which I'm shouting out right here. And he actually references it, which is quite useful. Now what X menu is, is that it's a menu much like the application launcher menu that Windows has by default. So you have a list of all the stuff and you have all the um you have sub menus that are appropriate. Well, so many as appropriate I should say and you can configure a lot of things about it like how far away you want this other box to be from it or the size of the different menu elements I think is the word yeah menu elements and a lot of other things can be configured about it so let's take a look at this right so if we take a look here we have a what you're going to want to do before we talk about any X menu shell or actually using this program, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to git clone this repository. Now, the reason you want to git clone it is because nobody's made an AUR package for it yet. Not that you would want to use an AUR package for it, probably, because actually the way you use it is that you're modifying the source code. Kind of. The config file is the source code, effectively and you are modifying different values in that and recompiling each time that you want to have it built so that's quite nice and you can also modify the C code or use any patches but I'm not sure if there is any patches for this piece of software yet anyway let's talk about it so it provides an example shell script so xmenu.shell it just brings everything up to the end of the file in and it pipes it into xmenu so X menu can just render it properly. Then it takes the output from X menu, which is the thing you click. Um, it takes that output and it passes it into the shell script. So it just runs that as a shell uh, shell process. So if we run this shell script, you will see uh, my bad. If we run this, we'll see that it actually has all the stuff that it proclaimed to have. So I can bring up the terminal, or I can use the application launcher, or I can shut down and reboot. This is quite useful. However, you can't just run Xmenu wherever you want. You need to actually probably set up a script to run it. And then you need to probably set up a bind to either run that script or something to run that script. So in this case, uh, I'm going to have my key share. So if I bring up super plus spacebar, which is my current bind for it, I can have my menu put up which is quite nice and also I've set up in my status bar something kind of similar to what Windows has is a Windows kind of icon which is a tree and some diamonds uh, and then I can bring it up like that if I need to click something is it useful? yes actually <clears throat> uh, I'm going to make a comparison here what I used to use is a tool called dmenu now what dmenu is is this tool at the bottom you can see and it effectively lets you search up a application that you're using. So if I want to use a book, which is a, an address book, I can use that. Uh, if I want to use any type of software, I have to go through it. I can also search through it, but it brings up every, literally every single application available. So the alternative, bring up a list of all your applications that you want to have there. Buy it yourself include the images that you want to have as icons and that's all the way to it really so I will go through my script because I have made some modifications to the X menu shell script okay so I have a script in my bin which is just gonna have it pulls out some information before I actually run the script so I get the artist and I get the 
I basically get the artist name, I get the title of my music, which is corresponding to this music up here. And this is used in the music section right here. And then I check some information about it to check what to actually use a string. And you can see that this is actually used down here where well, I just use that variable. Now, a couple of other things. You can include images. Um, you also have to use hard tabs. Soft tabs will not work with this. Just to make sure you're aware of that. Um, is there anything else I'm missing here? Oh yes, so the format would be just image and then the title of it and then your actual script that you're running or your shell command, your bash, your bash script or it wouldn't be bash, it would be shell script so say you want to run a application called multi-mc or you have a multi-mc you want to run ft dash nethack then yeah, that'll work uh, Oh yes, I am missing one thing so you see these blank lines, which would just be rendered internally as a slash n. You'll have a escape character for a new line. Um, what those are, if I bring it up myself, is that you notice I have two lines here, and then two lines here. Notice that I have two horizontal bars in between, and then horizontal bar after music, which corresponds with this point here. I don't think there's anything else really to mention there just horizontal bars makes it much easier to read it. Now a question that some people who are probably very big fans of using keyboards are going to be asking, can I use the keyboard? To answer that, yes you can. I should probably bring up your off, so yeah. Okay. So yes, if I bring it up, I can use the keyboard. I can go up and down, up and down. I can go sideways, I can go left ways. I can press enter, I can press tab. You know, it works like that. The one thing I want though, which isn't actually implemented, but one thing I would really want to let me know if it ever gets updated, that would be really convenient if I could press in the like G, or just G, and it would just immediately go to the first thing that I set in, you know? That would be quite convenient if you could just automatically figure out, hey, he's searching for something with G, let's automatically put the cursor on the thing with G. That would be quite useful. Or something with like one, two, three, so you get different numbers corresponding to different uh, elements in it. Apart from that, wonderful piece of software. I found out about it through DistroTube, wonderful guy. Here's the GitHub link, I'll post it in the um, description or the comments or wherever it is that YouTube uses. And I'm not sure if there's anything else I'm missing. I don't think I'm missing anything else. I might make a push to one of my repositories. I might make like a uh, push to one of my repositories which has all my um, dot files for this X menu stuff. Well, not dot files, but it's just the source code that I'm using. My personal build of X menu. And let me know if there's any patches out there that are possible to be used with X menu, or let me know if you use any patches. I'll be quite interested to see if you do uh, that. <coughs> I'll be quite interested if anybody actually uses any patches with X menu because it seems like a wonderful piece of software. Anyway, that's all I have time for today. Have a good one.